December 2004, the Indian coastline was battered by the most devastating tsunami in recorded history. Loss of life and property was the maximum in the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu. The municipalities of Kadalur and Nagapattinam bore the heaviest brunt. Immediate rescue, relief and rehabilitation measures were taken up by central, state and local governments. To assist in the recovery process, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, launched the City Links Post Tsunami Recovery Program in these two towns. The project is being implemented by the International City County Management Association, ICMA, in partnership with Urban Management Center, UMC. The City Links Program aims to provide hands-on technical assistance and strengthen capacity building of municipal staff through a structured partnership of Nagapattinam and Kadalur and the cities of Florida in the United States of America over a period of two years. The tsunami left behind a trail of destruction and tales of lost families, lost livelihood, damaged infrastructure and battered mines. Feeling that the loss of gathering places and recreational spaces had created a void among communities, a joint team from USAID and ICMA decided to revitalize communities and community spaces through a unique and interesting initiative. The CityLinks team decided to involve communities themselves in the rebuilding process in order to revive their confidence and help them overcome their personal losses. On its visit to Florida cities, the delegation from Indian City was impressed by the community-built playgrounds by Leathers and Associates. The organization has worked for over 35 years with almost 1,700 communities across the developed world. It was roped in to build playgrounds in Kadalur and Nagapattinam with the community's involvement. Design Day to conduct the design day, Dennis from Leathers and Associates called on school children. It was also an effort to make the young minds forget the tragedies by making them participate in the project. The children were asked to close their eyes and visualize their dream playground. With crayons and drawing sheets, 300 children from government, private and municipal schools got down to work. And when the children put their thoughts on paper, the result was overwhelming, encouraging. The little architects proudly explained their drawings to experts. These drawings formed the base for the final playground design. Dennis made a schematic drawing incorporating the kids' fantasies and presented it to community members the very next day. The community members were explained that the process of building the playground would typically happen over only five days. Planning It was decided that playgrounds would be built in both cities in the month of January 2007. While Leathers and Associates finalized the design, the City Links team geared up to put the plan in action. The City Links team held several meetings to solicit volunteer participation for the build day. Organization Day Leathers and Associates consultant Dara Lee Archin conducted a preliminary visit to Kadalur and Nagapattinam to discuss the final intricacies of build period and its planning needs. There was initial reluctance from citizens to participate in the playground building process as construction workers. A series of consultative meetings reduced the apprehension and made them feel motivated. The municipal staff, including the collector 
commissioner and the chairperson inspired the volunteers. The CityLinks team showed the citizens pictures of previous such projects to convince them of their success. Shedding inhibitions, the citizens decided to take the plunge. They formed teams and identified group leaders. The City Links team, along with Lee, visited various wood vendors and hardware shops to check for quality and availability of material of desired specifications. They also visited both the sites to decide the site layout for the build period. The City Links team discussed the complete site arrangements with the experts. Where would the volunteer's desk be? Where would the tool shed stand? Where would the wood be stacked? Where would the volunteers eat? ICMA procured all the required hardware and tools as per the material and tool lists before the build day. Build day After almost two months of rigorous planning by more than 30 community people and untiring efforts of the City Links team, the community was ready to take up the mammoth task. The build week in Kadalur was from 17th to 21st January. The big day finally arrived. After a pre-build meeting at the site, construction was about to begin. The pre-build meeting explained to volunteers about the do's and don'ts while building the playground. They were taught to manage the site. Team leaders were assigned specific works. Lee quoted, safety was the key to success as the playground was being built with the help of volunteers. The tool shed was organized in such a way which made it easy to find tools and hardware. Site management was critical to ensure site safety, timely completion of the playground and also provide a fun experience for the volunteers. Before construction began at 8 a.m., site checks for generator, laying of electric cables and power supply boards were conducted to ensure smooth work. Volunteers began arriving by 8 a.m. They signed at the volunteers' desk and were given a tag for their respective skill level. Each volunteer was introduced to the team leader who would delegate work according to the tags. Lee and Justin supervised the group leaders. The language barrier was difficulty, but I've learned that uh, drawings and hand signals go a long way and the people are so willing to learn and so willing to do the job that the language barrier quickly dissolved and smiles and hand signals are universal. About 65 to 70 volunteers, including parents, school children and municipal staff, participated each day over two shifts. Students aged between 10 and 16 years from local schools too lent their hands to build the playground. This helped develop in them a sense of ownership and instilled discipline in maintaining the playground. The women worked doubly hard. They completed their daily household chores and joined the build. They built, managed the site, cooked and fed the volunteers. Specifically, women's group in Cuddalore was able to raise funds for all of the food for all of the volunteers, as well as all of the, uh, as well as all of the carpenters. Communities from various religions and social backgrounds worked together from early mornings till late evenings. Building the playground was incredible, but watching and standing back and realizing what you were experiencing was pretty amazing, especially this time in the world that no one really can't get along, and this was perfect. 
majority of the volunteers had never used power tools or handled any equipment in their lives. The City Links team and Leathers and Associates showed them how to use the tools. ICMA USAID later donated these tools and leftover material to communities for maintenance of the playgrounds. The girls from the uh, local school, Muslim, Hindu working together, the boys, uh, people dropping by, everybody changing, different people coming in during the day, some municipal officials coming, uh, religious leaders, just quite a community effort. And I think that was the purpose, is to bring people together to something that they'll care about. This project um, has allowed us to actually um, be a part of the program from the other side of the fence and I think uh, you get that impression that it's it's something that you own which I think is not there in some other programs. Very uh, well organized, everybody's working together uh, with their talents and skills uh, to put this part together. It's great. The atmosphere at the site was electrifying and the scene inspiring. Children singing songs, joyfully working, assisting and enjoying every moment of the build, their hands working magic. The women adorning the wooden structure with traditional motifs and paintings. And then there was ice cream for everybody. Every day, CityLink's director John Bormet would buy ice cream for all those who worked at the site. Such small gestures created an atmosphere of friendship, love and bonding among all community members. We're working on supplying water, on doing billing, on raising more re money from revenues, all those kinds of basic things. But this is certainly going to be the most visible. This is the thing that the community will remember for years to come. At the end of each day, the CityLinks team would prepare a work list for the next day to ensure smooth running of the project. It was a great feeling of satisfaction among the community to see the playground come together piece by piece when, at the outset, the members of the community were not able to visualize what it would look like. At the end of it all, it was a team effort, a playground for the community by the community. The children's playground was finally complete and well in time. In, it is a project completed within two or three, day, three days. Uh, this is only because of the efforts of the ICMA and uh, their contribution is valuable and uh, remarkable one. In the park, I am very happy. My school person also went there. I am very happy. I am very happy. I am very happy. I am very happy. I am very After five long days of hard work, fueled by endless enthusiasm, both playgrounds were inaugurated amidst fanfare and excitement. The exhaustion from months of planning and efforts was replaced by the satisfaction of seeing the children use the playground and see a smile on faces of their parents. Many of you here in the audience have worked with us over the past week and many will ask why you work so hard. And the answer to that question can be heard if you will be quiet just for one moment. 